I think I would, I'd like to say I was a good leader. Yeah, I, I lead by example. If people can see me doing what I believe is what is expected, I'd like to hope that they follow suit. And that's, that, I'd like to think that's my strongest point. If your leader is confident, then everyone gets that from you. If your leader isn't communicating to the team, they're not going to have any idea on where they need to take the, whatever it is that they're working on. Previously I had a project where I just could deliver it all on my own, whereas this one I had to rely on a lot of other people, feeling as though that they're part of the team, whereas it just wasn't myself. For the, for the success of the project, I needed a whole team to be able to do it. Through the Leadership Edge program, um, I'm dealing better with conflict. I'm dealing better with um, talking to the team that I have um, through their coaching sessions and just through their leadership, I've been able to learn from them on how they conduct themselves with the team as well. I'm not one to sit, listen and take it in. This has been good. You sit and listen for a while, jump up, have a go at it, move around. I find it easier to relate that way. I'm really impressed with the facilitators and how they're conducting themselves and the friendliness that they engage everyone with and deliver what I thought was going to be a structured program. It's got structure but they've got flexibility to, to go with the crowd and their professionalism has been yeah, second to none. Taking what I've learnt from the course or the, the program, I think if you can apply that to a small team, you should be able to apply it to a large team as well. So I'd like to think over time, and if I keep practising what we've learnt over the program, then that should be able to grow to be able to lead a, a team of well, who knows how many. Could be quite a lot. Yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs>